Hi everybody, welcome to the Actors Academy. Thank you for tuning in today. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the seven misconceptions that people have about acting. If you're an actor and you really wanna take your career seriously and you actually wanna go and progress and move to the next step, these are gonna be very important points for you to understand. Whether you're a beginning actor or you're an intermediate actor, hopefully if you're an advanced actor, you know some or all of these points here, but we're gonna be talking about them today. And if you're somebody who's not even interested in becoming an actor at all, but you're interested in seeing what some of these misconceptions are, well then stay tuned because we're going to be talking about some of them today. So without further ado, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up because it does help and we we'll always love getting thumbs up from you guys and we're going to get into the video right now. of actors will think this and it's pretty common and there's a good reason for it but they'll think if they go out and they put good work out there they go to the casting director and their work their audition is amazing it's one of the best performances they've ever had they'll think that hey they'll go and get a part but this is also a business of subjectivity meaning that just because one casting director may think you're great there could be 10 other ones that don't there could be something that hey they're maybe looking for somebody who's just three inches taller so it doesn't even matter how good your acting is and this is important to realize because because otherwise as an actor, you start to beat yourself down and you start to think that your acting's not any good. Because if you put it into a real life perspective, think about it this way. If you're going out and you're auditioning all the time, but you're never booking anything, naturally you start to think what? You start to think, hey, you may not be any good where you could be great. Now, you also could be bad, okay? We don't want to delusion ourselves, but you also can't beat yourself up because sometimes your acting could be great and it could be amazing, but it's just, you're not right for that particular part. So this is something very important for the actor to realize because otherwise they go through this industry and they end up thinking they're a bad actor or hey, you may not be a bad actor. It's just, you did not fit the part that was being cast for at that time. And on top of that, because there's so much subjectivity involved, it could just be the wrong casting director. If there was a different casting director doing this project, maybe they would have said, yes, you are the right person. We need you for the job. But because it was this particular casting director, because they also have a particular vision for this character, you just didn't make it to the next step. So that's always a possibility. So do not confuse that, hey, all you have to do to become a successful actor is be great. That is a part of it. That's an element that helps you out a lot if you're good. Of course it does, but it never guarantees anything anything and this is a problem that a lot of actors have with their acting is that they think wow I should be booking but I'm not and it simply could just be that hey you know you're just not right for the part Now this is a question that I get all the time. All the time, every single week I'm getting somebody asking me the question, hey, do I gotta go to drama school in order to make it as an actor? And the short answer to this is no, not at all. There are so many actors that we could literally list off right now and tell you that did not go to drama school, but I've had very good and successful careers. Johnny Depp, Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, never attended drama school in their life, but they've had great, amazing careers. But then there's also a lot of actors who have attended drama school and who have also had great and amazing, fantastic careers. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. If you want to go to drama school, hey, then go. I want to got my BFA and MFA and that's what I wanted to go and do. If you want to do it, great, go for it. If you don't, then stay away from it. It's not for everybody. If somebody wants to have that extra training to really go and improve on their craft and they know the people who are going to be working at that school with them and they want to get a particular type of training, then go for it, do that. But if that's not what you're interested in and you don't want to, that is 100% okay. So in short, no, you don't got to go to drama school in order to become an actor. But if you want to go to drama school, then go work and apply and see if you can get in. But if you don't want to go, you do not have to and you are not at all obligated to go to a drama school in order to make it successful successfully as an actor. Another false idea that I see a lot of actors have and that they fall into is that the training and the practicing that they have only happens in the class setting. And that is completely wrong. But if you are only working and practicing in that class situation, and a lot of people will have class maybe once a week, that means out of seven days, you're practicing for one day and for maybe two or three hours, depending on how long that class actually is. That is not a lot of practice time. You also have to put in the work when you're not in the class. What are you doing those six other days that you're not there? during your class day. So that's just a very important thing for actors to realize. A lot of them think, hey, I'm gonna just rely so heavily on the class and this class is gonna make me great. It's not just the class. You also have to put in the work. You gotta be working every single day of the week just like you would if you wanted to be a professional martial artist or you wanted to go and be a professional musician. Acting still requires practice. 
Now, another piece of trouble that actors will tend to fall into is falling into this trap where they actually start to believe that bad auditions are always bad. Now, we of course wanna have good auditions, we wanna have confidence when we walk into the room, we wanna have confidence when we walk out of the room. We wanna think, hey, the work that we put in there was great and it was amazing. That is our goal, that's what we're always chasing for. Sometimes though, you are gonna have those auditions that you go in there and you walk out and you're like, man, that audition sucked, that was terrible, it was one of the worst auditions that I have ever had in my entire life. Sometimes you're gonna have that. That's gonna happen to every single actor out there at some point in time. They're not always gonna have great, amazing auditions. Meryl Streep has not always had amazing auditions. I'm sure she's had auditions before where she walked out of the room thinking that she sucked and it was no good at all because we all have it. We all fall into that at some point in time. For you guys though, what I want you guys to start realizing for yourself is that bad auditions may not always be as bad as you actually think. There's a lot of actors who are just too hard on themselves and I don't want you guys to fall into this trap because then you start building negativity on yourself. And the reason that you don't want to build negativity is because in this industry, there's a lot of it. You're always questioning yourself whether or not you're good at acting or you're not good at acting. You have one instructor that says you're great. You got another instructor that says, eh, you're so-so. You may have another instructor that says you suck. You may go out for auditions and not book anything at all. And a lot of actors build their confidence and build their acting skills on what they believe is talent on whether or not they book. And that's how they judge whether or not they're good at acting. Now, sometimes if you go into an audition, it may actually actually be a bad audition. Sometimes actors are gonna fall into that and you have to realize that yes for yourself when an audition is actually bad. But I want you guys to also realize that auditions may not be sometimes as bad as you actually think they are. I've seen actors before who have gone in for auditions, they think they suck, they thought it was terrible, they told me their whole story behind it, and then literally about a week, week and a half later, they get a call back for that exact same part. As you start developing in your craft and you start becoming a more proficient and better actor, you're really gonna start to be able to understand for yourself when your acting's good, when your acting's not so good, once you start getting more to that higher level. So sometimes when you're having those auditions, don't beat yourselves up, even though an audition may seem bad, it may not always be bad or as bad as you actually think it is within that audition. Now, another misconception that a lot of actors have is that they believe this. They believe that good training equals that they will automatically be able to go out and move to Hollywood or New York or wherever you're planning to go and audition. And they believe that if they just had great, amazing training, boom, they're gonna be able to go and book Part. They're gonna be able to be the next Johnny Depp or they're gonna be the next James Dean or Meryl Streep or whoever they idolize in their heads. But there is so much, so much more that goes into this industry than just being able to act. Now, you do wanna get good training because good training helps you a lot. Just as it does with anything else in life, if you wanted to go and be a martial artist, you wanna go and be a guitarist, you wanted to go and be a chef, training, working on your skill, it helps. It helps put better work out for you. It gives you a better potential opportunity of actually going and booking a part. All of that is 100% true. But you don't want to fall into the trap of just believing that just getting good training is all you need. You need a lot of other things. You need to have people skills. You need to be able to go and be able to build good connections with other people. You need to be able to have a plan when you go and you move out to say Hollywood or New York or wherever it is you're planning to go and audition, how to survive out there while you're auditioning. And also realizing this, luck plays a huge part in this industry a very, very big part in this industry. You could be, hey, the best actor in the world, and you still need luck in order to go and book a part, book that audition that you have. And it's a thing that a lot of people just simply forget about. So, good training, it is super important. Very good, you wanna get the best training that you can. That's a stepping stone that you're looking towards. But it's not a guarantee that you're gonna go and book a part. There's more to it. Now, another big misconception about actors is that acting is cheap to get into. And I'll tell you this, it is not cheap to get into at all because there's a lot of expenses that you have to have that a lot of people don't really realize. Some of that has to be with gas, just being able to go and drive to your audition and drive home. A car, if you don't have one, some form of transportation you're gonna have to have. Headshots, training that you get, living situation depending on where you are. Some actors will go and just decide, hey, wherever they are, they move out to LA or they move to New York or wherever they plan to go and start their acting career, but you gotta pay for housing. And then you gotta go and pay for food, and then you gotta just go and pay to have things to live your life, to have different experiences. So just realize that there will be expenses involved in order to become an actor. There will be things that you will have to go and pay for, just like if you wanted to go and be a musician, or you wanted to go and be a martial artist, it's gonna cost you some money along the way. Realize the same applies to acting. It's not a cheap profession to get into. It's not the most expensive profession to get into, but it's also not a very cheap one. Now, 
Just as there are negatives, I also want to give you guys the positive about this. Is realizing that as an actor, it's still possible that you can book. A lot of people think, hey, I want to go and become an actor, but I'll never book it. I'll never be able to make it at all. And if you have that mindset and you never pursue it and you never give it a chance, then of course, you're never going to be able to make it as an actor. Don't get me wrong. It's hard. It's very hard. And you want to plan things out right. You don't want to just say, hey, tomorrow I'm going to go and move out to LA or I'm going to move out to New York without even trying to figure anything out, without figuring out the financial how are you gonna survive out here? Do you only have enough money to survive throughout a year and you can't even be here any longer than that? Do you need to train more? Do you need to get representation? Do you have to do headshots? I mean, there's a lot of things that you have to do. But even though it's hard, I still want you guys to know that it's very possible to make it as an actor. And now is actually one of the best times to be an actor than any other time in history, just simply because there are so many new projects that you can audition for. Every new platform that comes out there and they put a new show or a new movie gives you more opportunities to be able to audition for projects. Projects. And we got so many platforms out there today. New platforms create more auditions. And in the next five, 10 years, are there gonna be more platforms? Yeah, maybe there will be. So what does this mean? Yeah, becoming an actor is very hard. There's no way around that at all. And anybody who tells you it's super easy and there's nothing to it, and you just go out for a few auditions and you're gonna make it big, is lying to you. But the truth is, is that it's still very possible. And if you put in all the work and you do everything you can to give yourself the best chance possible, then you have a better opportunity at potentially booking those parts that you got an audition for. So it is possible, but it's also hard at the same time. And you got to know that there's both involved. You don't get one or the other. It comes with both. So these are some of the big false ideas that people tend to have about acting. Leave a comment down in the comment section below which one you fell into. Which false idea did you have a belief in before this video? Remember, these are not the only false ideas on acting, but these are some of the main ones that people are always talking about. And I wanted you guys to have the answers to these ones today. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with everything. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you guys. Also, I'll be leaving our 10 hour acting masterclass or 2.0 version down in the description down below. And I'll on the comment section if you guys are interested in that as well as our 10 acting resume templates all righty see you guys next time bye guys